in the opening of the school year, 1905 to 1906, found at this university, Cornell University, Alpha for Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, this organization. It was established by seven distinguished gentlemen who wanted to better themselves while here at this university. And from here on, you can see it's worldwide. So we stand in front of you today to celebrate 106 years of excellence. We would like to tell you a little bit about what the jewels meant to us and about what they meant to this fraternity. So I hope you enjoy. When I think to Jewel Callis, the, the first word that has to come to mind is excellence. I mean, this is the man who came up with the name for the fraternity, who was the youngest of the Jewels, but still the only one to ever become a national president. You know, everything he did, he did with greatness. Uh, on a more personal level, being pre-med at Cornell, I can deeply relate to the struggle of Jewel Callis. Um, I'm also pre-med, so I know what it's like to have a ton of extracurriculars and still want to succeed in your courses. So to see that Jewel Callis was able to be part of a group which created something so amazing, uh, I know that nothing for me is impossible. Nothing. Jewel Chapman was the oldest of the Jewels, but never let his seniority get in the way of doing all that he could do for the fraternity. For the first initiation banquet, he secured the building and he also paid for towels and never asked to be reimbursed for anything that he did. His selflessness proved to me that this fraternity is greater than any one individual and I truly look up to Jewel Chapman. What does Jewel Eugene Kinko Jones mean to me? He was regarded as one of the greatest men to have walked Cornell's campus. In the face of adversity, he came and participated in the engineering majors, one of the toughest majors that Cornell has to offer. After graduating Cornell, Jewel Eugene Kinkle Jones took part in the National Urban League, in which he was one of the secretaries serving directly under the president. What Jewel George Biddle Kelly means to me, he's definitely awe-inspiring, um, us both sharing a lot of parallels, both being engineers, him a civil engineer, me computer science, and both uh, Chapman presidents. Uh, to see his struggle uh, through Cornell and being an engineer, it really inspires me to go uh, every day. What does Jewel Nathaniel Allison Murray mean to me? For some reason, the only thing that keeps coming to mind is, don't be like me, be better than me. Thinking about his lifestyle, he came from the DMV area, decided to come to Cornell, Ivy League institution, study agriculture, one of the first students in the College of Agriculture at that time, then take an unusual route to become an educator. Looking at that now, 100, almost 106 years after that, you notice that some of the programs we continue to have, go to high school, go to college, the Paul Shores Memorial Program, as well as the only on Cornell campus is the kids. What does Jewel Robert here at Oval mean to me? Jewel Oval. Well, first, he's a student at Cornell University, uh, as am I. Once he graduated from Cornell, he entered into the government field. I'm a gun major here at Cornell School of Arts and Sciences. And he gives me hope that I can achieve such great standards in my field, um, just like he did when he was actually graduating. As a student in the Architecture, Art, and Planning College here at Cornell, Jewel Tandy has a special place uh, in my life and also in my studies. He changed the way that black males arts. He was the, the first black architect registered in the state of New York. He was the first black male uh, to be admitted to the American Institute of Architects. He grew up watching his father build and design homes. From his early days of childhood, Jewel Tandy was already obsessed with building things from the ground up. I am. I am. 
I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Alpha chapter.